Educators from across the world are in Austin for South by Southwest EDU, including Miguel Cardona, the U.S. Secretary of Education. His focus, reimagining education to help students and teachers recover from the disruption caused by the pandemic. He also wants to make sure billions of dollars in federal funding go directly to the classroom. KXAN's Jennifer Sanders got a one-on-one -on -one interview with Secretary Cardona. Jennifer, what does he say needs to change? Well, he's calling for more transparency in how federal dollars are being used here in our local schools. He's also wanting parents as well as students to have a bigger voice in how those funds are spent. Now, we know the Texas schools got well over $12 billion in federal funds since the start of the pandemic. That money was to help with things like PPE, technology, as well as learning loss. The secretary says money that was allocated to the state's education system should get directly to the classrooms, really help helping teachers and helping students with things like mental health support. He's also urging administrators to meet with students more often and incorporating their feedback into student improvement plans. He says one of the biggest challenges facing the education system now is complacency. I don't want to go back to the system that we had before 2020. That system didn't work for all kids. Uh, we have more money in education now, but I want to make sure we maintain a level of urgency to address those issues that were there before the pandemic. And according to the Texas chapter of American Federation of Teachers, more than half of educators in the state are considering leaving their professions. The secretary is calling on districts to provide more financial and emotional resources to keep teachers from leaving. It, it's unacceptable in 2022 that teachers have to have two to three jobs to make ends meet, um, but also making sure that we're supporting uh, the changes in their job, right? Not only with technology, which we know was a significant shift, but the fact that now they have to really address their frontliners. And coming up new at six o'clock, we'll explore another big topic that was discussed here today, and that is tenure. And right now, a lot of educators from across the country are here reacting to the lieutenant governor's announcement that he wants Texas schools to stop offering it. Britton Robert, back to you.